Level two, one so you, you can you do them one at a time, or you can do them one at a time since you only have two, and you get to add your con each time you roll one. So theoretically, if healed. it only takes one, then you could I'm save the other one if we need I'm another short rest. So Morgan is I'm a fully fighter, healed. right? Oh, I am fully healed. All right, good for you. Fighters so are I D10s, yeah. Ten back. Wow. I am fully charged. <laughs> two. Yeah. I have been dead, so it doesn't matter. I placed my copper bedpan on my head as a helmet. Excellent. The Knights of the Bedpan. Well, that's that's poetic. Okay. All right. Are you guys? You guys are heading to the Seal of Utube to uh, uh, unlock yeah. the room. And here. And. All right. All one has to do is stand on the seal and mutter the words. Um, in terms of wizard having no spells left, what about the arcane recovery ability? If if you spend if you spend one hour studying your spell book once per day, you you can regain a first level spell. Yeah. So if you don't need to do a rest to regain hit points, that should work just fine. Um, hold on, just one second. I don't think that it's available to me yet. Is it? Uh, you're right. It comes in. Uh, no, wait. So that's just under wizardry, which you do have. Okay, yeah. once per day, if you spend one starting it. Oh yeah, you're totally right. So, so that short rest, I just got one first level spell. No, back, no, no, right? no, no, no. You're either going to do the short rest or an arcane recovery. They both take an hour, unless we're spending two hours. So did oh, you well, did you I'm, need I'm, to heal? No, I'm going to take the spell, not the heal. Yeah, sounds good. You also have a couple okay. of healing potions. All right, and so you guys and our paladin has his uh, lay on hands back. If we're just doing the boss now, then he can use a couple points and get you back your full. Because you, yeah. you weren't that low anymore. I'm, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, how, how low are okay. you exactly? I got eight. I'm fine. Oh, okay. Wait, out of how many? Twelve. Okay, you're fine. Okay, you ready? So let's use these Sure, because if, if this is the last, if this is the big boss fight that, and I were a paladin, I would use four of those hit points and get him back up to full. Well, Since you're um, increasing the mage's hit points by 50%. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I'll use four. Well, it's not my. It's not my power. You don't have to. Uh, that's just. Twenty-two yeah. minutes. Why no, yeah, no, let's go in now. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll, I'm gonna stay out of the way. I'll stay back. Yeah. Let's run so, towards. So, I'm going to I'm bless going to... the party, and then I'm going to. Uh, we don't need to kick down this door. It should just open when we use the secret word. But whoever's. Uh, you, I'll give you uh, plus plus one d four on your saving throws in addition to the bless. That's more. Just like. Mm -mm. Woo! Thank okay. you. Okay. Utter the secret words. What are they? Niktu, Barata, Klatu. Ooh la la. Yes. <laughs> Boom! The door opens, revealing a chamber that is empty, other than a etched symbol in the ground, the same symbol of YouTube. Uh oh. Hmm. That's not the YouTube symbol. <laughs> I know, I, I thought about it, like, yesterday. I was like, oh my god, I should have actually grabbed the YouTube logo and used it everywhere. Right. Let's move in. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait, actually, maybe we should sniff this one out a minute. Let me use my magical lore on this. Good okay. idea. Give it a Seems like it's just a massive roll. teleporter. Excellent roll. Uh, currently, you do not uh, sense any uh, celestial fiends or anything, um, and yeah, you detect, you figure out that this is a, a teleportation rune. If you stand on it, it'll start to activate, and it will send you to some other place. Okay, we should probably everyone, all stand on it at the same time. Yeah, as let's soon go. as the first person gets let's on, go. it starts to get brighter and brighter and brighter, and the symbol sort of gets traced in bright, bright lights. Hey and yeah, after about a full minute of humming, I have to go and load the new map. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta copy your characters over. Mm -hmm. Since it doesn't seem to do that automatically. Um, give me this. What kind of teleportation is that? My no, 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 teleportation. <laughs> copy. This is all very exciting. Boom, you guys should get moved. Oh, oh Jesus shit. Uh, there we go. Cool. So he's still he's still got one of his three power or one of his four powers left, but we did a lot. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna pop my 
uh, my speed potion. Good idea. Okay, well, we that, that'll a, actually be an action, so we actually have to roll initiative right now. Wasn't, it, wasn't it, I'm supposed to do it, like, when we roll initiative? Is that what it, how you, it you, you drink it first, and then you roll, when you enter combat, you roll two initiative, or whenever you drink it, you roll two initiatives then, and you'll get two actions. I will say, I if you wanted to, you could drink it the moment before the teleportation took hold. So you can start the combat with double initiative. Okay, that sounds good. And sorry, who, who is that? Who is that? Zero. Zero. I Zero. have the keys in the potion. Okay. So you can't die. We're going to have to get you to get those keys over to those spirits. I'm assuming that's how this works. So I get a bonus of 1d4, right? Um, Two initiative rolls? No. Just to the first roll or something. Um, I, I use a cantrip to give you plus 1d4 on... Actually, is it any one saving throw within a minute? But it's like once you use that one, it's gone. That's in addition to everyone has plus 1d4 to hit and to all saving throws. From Daniel plus. Is a 15. Tal is a 10. Um, 3. Wow. You, the big fighter types have had terrible, terrible rolls here. For their initiatives. Woo! It's a five. Not just then. Did the barbarian roll twice because he has advantage on initiative? Oh right. Oh right. I got twenty-one. Wow. And a twenty the second time. Much better. Barbarians are cool in this system. So I have to roll for my dude. Oh no. So this is the. Uh, well, maybe we'll, we'll be we'll be short with the description. Dude. In that the guardian is like a huge stone figure carved out of the same rock as the rest of the dungeon, and uh, he's actually glowing with like multiple auras of magic. And as soon as he, as soon as you appear, he instantly turns and readies to attack. And I guess I just have to sort this. So Morgan is going to go first with a twenty-one. Woo! I'm gonna attack him, of course. Okay. I do believe oh, I'm not in the list again. He's actually wreathed exactly. in fire, by the way. His like his skin, well, it's, it's made out of stone, but it almost looks like he's on fire. So the yeah, stone. Alton's is nineteen fire. initiative is missing. What? the... Oh, Alton has a fifteen. You, you keep seeing two. You keep seeing both halflings and like messing them up or something. Oh, maybe Alton has a nineteen. Yeah, I'm a halfling. I'm easy, I'm easy to overlook. That's one of my special powers. All right, I mean, just must have just misread. Okay, um, so 19, you're going to go here. So Morgan the Butcher rolled a 12 on his attack, which is going to be insufficient. You swing, and your blow is just deflected off uh, the, the hard stone because you're trying to stay away from the fire that is burning. Luckily, you avoid burning yourself, but you don't actually do any damage. Okay. Next up is uh, actually we're gonna go with the uh, Star Kicker first on a twenty. I'm going to rage. Good call. <laughs> then I will move ten feet. Then I will attack with two axes. Okay. <sighs> Remember the plus D four. Oh wait, sorry. I just realized that Morgan added the d4, um, and I thought that was the damage roll. Morgan, we're actually going to go back. You hit. Star Kicker, you're going to hit as well, Yay. but just give me a sec. Morgan, go ahead and roll your damage. Unfortunately, you did get close enough to hit him, which means you are actually going to get burned by his fire aura. Ouch. You take six points of fire damage. <laughs> Ow. We need to figure out what to do with these spirits, guys. Uh, it looks like they're chained to the wall, so I'm gonna go run over there. Run over there. Indeed, there Indeed. are four <laughs> skeletons with ghostly items. Wow. Oh, and Nathaniel? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, for your nice. What? For your little comment. Thank you. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, come on. Time. Let's do it. 16 damage is excellent, except that Woo! for some reason, some of your damage. Doesn't doesn't hold. He resists some of the damage and only takes half. Okay, so yes, and there are four sort of skeletal spirits that are chained in each corner and they're wreathed with some sort of color. 
So, so Star Kicker hit, but has to roll damage. And he also takes three points of fire damage. Oh boy. Now that was your first yeah, attack. First so your first attack, attack deals seven damage, right. except it's cut in half. So he deals four. Go ahead for your th second attack. Your second attack, you will not take any additional fire damage. Three. Okay, so again, that's still cut in half, so it does two. Okay, next up is the demon himself. I think that he's probably going to be kind of pissed at Morgan. Oh. Um, <laughs> and so he's actually just going to reach down and try to bite you. With this I'll, huge I'll, stony I'll maw. Do, I'll give him disadvantage then. Okay, that's great. So... Uh, guy with the key. Guy with the keys. Head for the head for the stone one. That should help. That should allow us de to deal more damage. So Enough. the... 19 is almost certainly going to hit anyway, so we will deal, um... Yeah, I have an AC of uh, 17. Okay. Bad. So this is going to be a lot of damage. Ooh. This is going to be a lot of damage. Uh -oh. I was going to say toss me one of the keys too. I'm I'm fast. Now we have to be able to figure out which one goes where. So he's going to bite you for 17 points of damage. Also, his bite is toxic, or is poison. On your next turn, you're going to have to make a con save, or you're going to take extra damage from the poison in his bite. Yeah, but, but I'm in minus already. Oh, so you are unconscious. Alton is up. No. Yeah. Um, I'm going to save my initiative until I can get a key, and then I'm going to try to pick the safest path path around him wait, to the north. Wait, wait, wait. Well, wait, here's the deal. We don't know which key goes to where. Like, what if we take a key and all run to the wrong place? All the keys are identical. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll do you a favor. All the keys are identical. That makes it simpler. So, yeah, because be honestly, if we had to get certain keys into certain areas, that would have just... Okay, let's just do it, though. We don't That's... have time. So, so, Zero, it's actually your turn now. Okay, so who needs a key? Which one? Ping yourself if you want a key and, he, and have an action right now. Everyone gets okay. to act before the monster gets to act again, right? So okay, you can sort of so give it to anyone. I toss I'm fast one, and my attacks aren't as good, though. I toss one key to my left uh, to uh, uh, the was... archer and yeah, one key to the guy in the black cloak. Are those, are those are just minor actions, aren't they? Yeah, so Alton and Tellas both have a key. Um, I'm going to say that that uses uh, your standard to like sort of distribute the two keys, and you can still move, though. And you're going to get a follow-up action because you're still hasted from your speed potion. But you don't do it instantly. Okay, I'm moving to the stone one here. Okay. Am I, am I close enough to unlock it? Indeed. We'll, we'll wait until your next turn comes up so I don't lose track, but you'll get to do it before the monster goes again anyway. Okay, cool. Uh, so good then. Next up is Alton, presumably, since you are holding your initiative. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the safest path around this guy. Seems you like he only has see, like see, a five foot. The problem is, it looks, it, oh, yeah. uh, it looks like the fire damage one is behind him, mm -hmm. but then someone would take an attack of opportunity from going past him, whereas we can probably get the, was looking... the right one safely. Yeah, but the one that's doing the fire damage to everybody doing melee, our melee fighters are going to die. It's unfortunate. Well, uh, <laughs> if you, wait, hold on. If, you, if, you, if we hold on a little bit, then what I could do is I can move and then try a thunder wave to kind of push him out of the way a bit. I found. Hey, I found this thing. Uh, okay, I'm looking up. I'm looking. I'm caught. Yeah, I'm reading from the how to play manual. Disengage. When you disengage, you move up to half your speed. If you leave a hostile creature's reach during this movement, you do not provoke an opportunity attack from the cr that creature. Right, so someone could use that to get by him, but then they probably aren't going to be able to unlock it in the same round. But like, just find the reason why I can't unlock that right now. Look, we, let's just just move to the nearest one and, and unlock that. And Close we'll, enough. We'll, we'll try to we'll, I'll, we'll try to move him on my next turn, which is coming up in just two rounds. All right, so where I should go is where to the left. What, uh, which one are you? Yes, so. All right, move to the one on the right, which is the close, or the one that you can reach, right? So the one to the right is wreathed in kind of lightning effects. The one to the left seems to be swirling around with, like, water and steam. The one on the bottom has stones uh, orbiting him in an aura, 
And yes, the one to the top is wreathed in fire. So it's his fire aura and his like stone skin. So we'll try to. You should save yours. Like maybe, um, m maybe the dude with the other key, uh, just like. Don't move yet. Just wait until it's my turn, and then I can push him out of the way. Hopefully. So Alton, you're unlocking the lightning shackle. Uh, I guess so. Okay. So you can easily get there and unlock it as your action. The uh, the wreath. The, uh, there's a moment where the, the chained up spirit here, the sort of ghostly skeleton, looks up at you and uh, whispers, you know, thank you, and uh, vanishes. The wreath of lightning actually hu stays there for a moment and then finally jumps directly into your hands. And as you hold forth your daggers, your dagger crackles with electricity. Meanwhile, oh, the Guardian, who had daggers. slight... So we're not removing stuff, we're gaining stuff. Well, no, the Guardian will no longer have some lightning-based thing that you guys hadn't discovered yet. Oh, great. So yes, you, you both took away a buff and gained a buff. Awesome! It's a significant swing. Nathaniel, you are now up. We Mega Man without killing him! Hmm. Actually, Nathaniel, you probably want to wait until Zero gets rid of the stone buff before you attack him. Assuming that it's what you're thinking of. Uh, what's gonna happen next? Yeah, I'm feeling gutsy. I, I'm going to attack. It's you, he's just, just like in, in one second he's yeah. going to remove that. He's gonna make it weaker. Yeah, literally just wait one sec. Zero is gonna go now, and unlock the stone buff. Yep, that's what I do. Bunk. So a. This actually seems to crackle the uh, the demon's skin. So now it's not just one like sh pure sheet of uh, of rock. And now it's like um, I don't know pebbles cemented together instead. So it's less overwhelming solid piece of granite. And also zero, you feel like your skin has hardened. And you look down, you can see a stony texture as part of your skin. Well, I Sweet. guess you can't see it under all your fur, but you can imagine that you must cover. So now okay. Nathaniel, you can go and attack a much weakened Guardian. Um, Demonac, you might want to use your spare from dying uh, on the Morgan. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we gotta get these key things, and so I could... Fire he can, fire he, won't, he won't die in hey, one dude. round from the death save. Why does Nathaniel get two attacks? Uh, he jumped the gun. He attacked, like, the first time. Oh. All right, I'll let you reroll. That's fine. Okay, you hit. Uh, you will take some fire damage from the hit. You take four points of fire damage, but then you can hit him for something. Uh, now I kind of want. Now I kind of want to use one of those keys. Rolling. I kind of want to use one of those keys. Come on, folks. Minutes. Holy on, crap! Guys. Okay, and you indeed inflict full damage as you hack away at him. Bits of stone are flying off. Tell us. You're, you're up and you have a key. Yeah. So. Get rid of the fire one. Yeah, get rid of the fire. I don't know, he can't reach it. So, uh, can, I dis can I use disengage bef when I'm not already touching him? So, like, because I've used my standard action and just, like, walk by him without getting hit. I don't think so. To, to me, it's like third edition. You can double move directly away from someone, but you can't double move through yeah. someone's threat and stuff. Well, the other thing is I can use my move action first to get up with him and then disengage because it's standard action. I know that works. I'm just trying oh. to figure out. So, yeah. Whatever. Let's well, say I, you can. I can move up to I move, I move up to him, yeah. and then now I'm there, and it, it's just a standard action the way they do it. Yeah, so. if you move there, then you can disengage and be where you need to be. Let, let's say it works. One, two, three, four. Oh, you only move and... up to half your speed as the disengage. I understand. And then you got three more. Yeah. More so feet. is that half my speed rounded up or down? Because I move at 35. Round up all the time. Yay, two, three, four. Gets me there. But okay. that means I probably can't do it now, can no, I? No, you'd need a standard yeah. action yeah. to unlock it. Boo. Anton. All right. Um, halflings have a thing where they can hide even when they're partially obscured. Nine minutes, just attack. You're not partially so, obscured. Uh, 
even not um, small behind two medium-sized players. Uh, no, there's too much space involved here. You're not, yeah. Just, right, okay. just attack. We have nine minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm firing a bow. Nah, uh, does that hit? Yes, it does. Oh, fantastic. Did that roll? Never mind. <laughs> Four points of damage, she will take four damage, and you do not take any uh, fire. Lucky you. Next up, back to Morgan the Butcher Jones, who uh, currently needs to do a constitution saving throw, I believe, for a death save. To see if uh, she is slowly, or he is slowly bleeding to death. Yeah, it's a DC you don't 10. Die in the, you don't die until you fail, like, three or something. That's right. Let's be quick about it, people. So D20 yeah. plus your constitution modifier. Okay, that is one successful save. So if you get three of those, then you stabilize. Next up Ooh. is Star Kicker. <laughs> All right, roll. Beat the shit out of him. Yeah. yeah! Remember, you have plus two to your damage rolls from Rage as well. You have advantage on attack yeah. rolls. And you have the D4s from Blessing. Miss, roll again. Yeah. Again. Um, plus 1d4. With the plus 1d4, you will hit on that one. So you're going to take some damage. <clears throat> Folks. You take one point of fire damage, and now you can roll your damage against him for your first axe. Ooh, seven. seven. Okay, now attack with your uh, second that axe. That doesn't look like it's counting the plus two from Three, rage. Ten. Oh, you're right. I will give him an extra plus two. Uh, you have to roll to hit for your second attack. Star kicker. You have to roll to yeah. hit, you have to roll to hit a second time. Oh dang. Okay. Dice. Because like before, uh, when you rolled twice, it was because you had advantage. Uh, that's actually good enough to hit. So now uh, you can roll your damage again. Oops. Just a d6. Oh, only one. But he but is he very gets, busted up. I think he up. still gets the plus two from Rage, though. Um, Rage just says you gain a bonus to melee damage yeah. rolls. You're That's right. And, it's, and the second attack just says you don't get your attribute. So, all right. He is very damaged. Like, chunks of rocks have just, like, been falling off of him. He's, he's starting to collapse under his own weight, practically, at this point. However, it is his turn. So, what he's going to do now... Mm, oh man, I really, really want to do a charge double attack rend against um, against Tellas, but they would draw too many attacks of opportunity. So I guess he's going to stand in place and probably attack the barbarian since he's been so uh -huh. goddamn dangerous. And I can't do the <laughs> charge; I need to move at least ten feet. D twenty plus six against the barbarian. Ah, come on! <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Yeah. Yes, big miss. Right. Zero. Okay, I'm gonna magic missile. Magic missile can't miss. Nice. Has a lot of potential going on here. Ooh. Potential not quite achieved, but a very impressive amount of damage anyway. Takes if, full damage uh, from that. Couldn't someone uh, heal me or something? Want the one that could that bring me back or something? Uh. Uh, I can't do my automatic one. Anyone with a healing kit Demonic could do it. Become run with a will Demonic, save. Demonic is gonna be come, come running back with spare from dying as no, soon as he's done with no the fire. No time thing. to talk about it. Trump, run up there and smack him. Uh, uh, it's anyway, it's, yeah, it's timber pipe. It's timber pipe. Timber pipe. I right, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take one of my daggers. I'm gonna throw it up into the air. And it's gonna flip like mad. But while that one's still in the air, I'm gonna spin and throw my other one lightning towards the demon. Okay, okay, throwing like, the lightning dagger. It's gotta be, uh, yeah, it's gotta be, you know, fantasy. Yeah, well, so roll it. Three, Three minutes. Three minutes. Three oh. minutes. Uh, you definitely hit. Bam. So six damage, and it actually does an extra d6 lightning on top of that. Okay, rolling. Roll faster. Wow. Yes. Nice. Nice. Twelve points. Boom! 
dead guardian. You land the, gu the oh, knife, yes. it somehow it plunges into his stony body. Although, again, it's, you know, sort of pebbly and rocky and torn apart, so it, it fits in between two stones, and all of a sudden it unleashes a crack of lightning, and thunder almost deafens everyone in the room, but the uh, the lightning just splits his entire body in two, and stone shards go flying everywhere. You guys are covered in, in cuts and bruises, but, you know, we'll, we'll just ignore the actual damage effect. But, uh... When you, when you look up again and the cloud of dust from the destroyed guardian clears, you see that in the center of the pile, um, sitting in the debris, there is an amulet. And it is the fabled amulet of Utub. You guys have successfully okay, um, completed the adventure with three minutes to spare. Okay, and one, la and one last thing. Oh, and one last thing? You know, run back and I'll stand him back up. I ran one across the barbarian. Uh, <laughs> One last thing, I attempt to pull a... I attempt to sneakily grab the dagger and pocket it. There's a lead... There's a... What? There's a roll for that. Uh, hold on. Are you guys really gonna go around murdering Who's each other now? My dagger? <laughs> the light, lightning! What? It... Conceal an... Yeah, conceal an object. That's a dexterity check. It's an amulet. It's not a dagger. Okay, you pick up the uh, the dagger and you take one d six electrical damage. <laughs> Psst, take six damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How many hit points right, do you let's have? Go, left? Let's take this thing. Go save the town. I have better things to do. Yeah, can you heal me first? <laughs> yeah, there's someone still bleeding to death on the ground. I am down to ten hit points. Nice going. Someone. Technically, Morgan was still poisoned, too. Someone's at one hit point, but I can't do anything until I have a long rest. Wait, who's at one hit point? Nathaniel can lay hands on the The one with guy. the skull and crossbones. Yeah, okay, but we're good. Morgan's back up to one. Uh, one. I can get up to even myself. I think it's done, though. We win. You know, we just gotta save you. I lay hands on... Yeah, there, there's only the very small problem that three devils have been released and have escaped the catacombs to, uh... Cause chaos and death in the city. Oh, minor imps. problems. They're imps. Yeah, this <laughs> they can be invisible and they can like guard. gank just about anyone whenever they want in their sleep. Potentially, you guys yeah, we'll have fun resting in the end tonight. How much XP do we get? I'm marking this one down. And this is a good idea. Uh, you actually get quite a bit from uh, the variety of fights here. Um, some, can someone get a tally going? Just write down some of these numbers. I'm sure I can manage. Yeah. Alright, so 420. Um, wow, there's so much stuff you guys didn't fight. Uh, da, 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 da. 250. 400. Uh, let's call this one another 400. All the skeletons and things, we'll call that 300. And then an extra an extra thousand for completion of the adventure so that is the total there are seven of you it's, so divide it by seven uh, uh, okay so it's 2770 so 395 each it's like half a level Woo! actually slightly more than half a level isn't it for you guys yeah next Woo! level is a thousand and you are at 250 to start off with so not bad yeah yeah, you guys, uh, you guys missed the, the classic statue conundrum. You missed some, some horrible beasts of insta death. And oh, you missed the cobalt, and I was so excited to make cobalt voices. Well, there's a whole other map. Do this again, in like a month or something. I'd love to play yeah. more. I want to run more of these sessions, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do about that. I'm actually gonna be running this exact same adventure tomorrow. There's so many people who wanted to play. I felt bad turning them away because some people put in really good suggestions or um, submissions. So I'm running the same adventure tomorrow. So try not to post any spoilers until after tomorrow. It'd be yeah, funny to see how completely up. differently it goes. Oh yeah, and I mean some of the things always get ad, ad libbed from my point of view as well. So even if they happen to do everything in the same relative order, there's still a good chance that some things will be slightly different. But I expect that they'll take different paths and they'll end up with a very different experience. Well, this was a really great time, Quill. Thanks a lot, man. Okay. Yeah, this was thanks. a blast. You guys it. are awesome. Thanks for running this. It was cool. All right.
Thanks, All right, I'm gonna go get some fresh air, so uh, see y'all later. I'm gonna go make see some dinner. See you later. Okay, Bye. 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 Bye to everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye.